The most popular of all the DT workshops I run in primary schools is uh, to make this wind up and go toy. Um, I call them scuttlers. Um, I start off, we start off with a piece of card, A4 card. I think it's something like 200 microns. Um, you could fold it that way, but for most of the scuttlers I make, I fold it this way. It doesn't matter if uh, the pupils are still learning how to fold, if the corners don't line up, it's not too important. Um, now I can cut the, cut the shape out freehand because I've made thousands of these uh, scuttlers, but um, I give the pupils um, a template to draw around. It's held in place with two paper clips. Very important that they put it next to the fold. It would be a disaster if they put it down there. It can go that way round and go on that side, that's all okay, but it must line up with the fold. And then hold in place with two paper clips. And then I ask them to draw around the shape. I've done this, uh, I do this regularly with year one and two. I've even done it in nursery reception with quite a lot of help. Draw all the way around. You might have to hold the legs to stop them wriggling. And then up around its head. We then take the shape off. And next we're going to cut it out. Now, very young children are obviously still learning how to use scissors. Uh, I encourage them to have a go. Uh, perhaps start off cutting these triangles out, that's the easiest part. I usually have to help them to cut out that curved line there. It is quite challenging because I want them to cut out both pieces of card at the same time. I ask them to save the bits that you cut out because they'll come in useful later on when we decorate our, our scuttler. Around its bottom, you will have noticed it has a rather large bottom. There is a reason for that, which will become apparent later on. Nearly there. And now the hardest part. So what I've done in seconds would take a U1 child many minutes. Let's save all those bits. At this point we're going to write our name inside. Always helpful. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is to fold up the legs to make them more realistic. I get the pupils to have a go at doing this. It's quite difficult. We fold them up, up, up at the base. Halfway along we fold them down and for the feet at the end fold them up again. And if you want to you can further enhance it by cutting out claws, toes, the bugs have toes, I'm not sure. I'll do quickly do the other side. Up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. So now we've got something that looks a bit more like a bug. We're now going to uh, make the bug move and to do that we're going to use um, a wheel that I've come up with. It's a cotton wheel with our old friend the number 18 rubber band again stuck onto it with some sticky tape. And we're going to fit the cotton wheel inside a tyre. Uh, we're going to use this um, pipe insulation and fortunately, very luckily, the uh, cotton wheel fits inside the pipe insulation perfectly. Um, you can get pipe insulation from your local uh, DIY store. Uh, it, sometimes though it's cut, it's slipped down one side. Um, it is available for, 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 for from my shop. So we're going to push that inside. That whole wheel um, assembled ready to go it, uh, again is available from my shop. Now to fix it into the bug, we're going to use um, a wire frame. Um, I've made this from one of these giant paper clips. I've uh, bent it out straight with pliers. 
then bent it into a V shape and bent hooks on the end. Once again that is available um, from my uh, tech shop. And we're going to stick it underneath the bug where the bottom is the widest with two bits of sticky tape laid along the wire at right angles to the spine fold. So really press down. With very young children um, I do this for them, this bit for them. And there we go. And stick the other one on. Press down really tightly. So that's the wire in place. And then we can slip the wheel on by hooking the ends of the rubber band over the hook like that. You can open it out a bit more, check the wheel is fairly straight. The wheel is wobbly, but then that enhances the way that it moves. I call them scutters because they do sort of jump as they move along. Um, plenty of scope for decorating. We could use um, googly eyes. Um, when I go in schools I have um, sheets of eyes that I've made. You can colour them in. Um, and we fold up here. Now we could use some uh, stick glue or sellotape. I've um, got a glue gun handy here. I love glue guns, they're so fast. This is an adult glue gun. Wouldn't normally use this in primary schools. I would use um, this kind of glue gun which is um, sometimes called a low milk glue gun but it's still 100 degrees centigrade. When I work in schools I, I would let year four plus you use them. What else can we do? Uh, we could perhaps add wings. Um, I've got some off cuts from another one I've made to get a contrasting colour. We could use those two pieces. We could use triangles. Uh, there's two pieces here we could use and we'll stick them on. There we go. A nice pair of wings for our bug. And finally how about some antennae? pipe cleaner here. Again that can be stuck on with sellotape underneath but because I've got a glue gun we might as well use it. Quite a big blob of glue. Have to be careful with my fingers. So when I work in schools I have a big long queue of pupils with their bugs and I'm glue gun man sitting in a corner gluing all their bits on for them. Um, I can bend these antennae up a bit the decks a bit and you can make them go right when you pull them backwards when you let go they will go forwards when you drag them backwards they will go forwards alternatively you can learn which way to turn it you can wind it up like this and then when you let go off it will go they're not designed to go a very long distance but you should be able to get two or three meters out of it <laughs>